Hi everybody, it's Becky from Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today I'm going to show you how to easily get this buttercream knit sweater look on cupcakes. I'm going to use this mold. Yes, it's a fondant mold, but we're going to use it with buttercream because it's awesome and super easy to use. This one is from the company Marvelous Molds, and it's the knit sweater one. So let's grab our cupcake, and we're just going to pipe buttercream right on the center and go around and they're making it pretty even as possible. And then we're just gonna flip that right onto the design and pat it in. I'm going to press it a little and then pat actually, just make sure I get that design completely in there. And then I'll do one more cupcake just to show you how to do it one more time all the way around. And you don't have to use um, a big round frosting tip like I did that the tip um, is optional but it helps me control how much and where I put my icing but you can just squirt it from a ziploc bag if you wanted to but let's go ahead and put this into the freezer for 30 minutes and out of the freezer it comes and I'm going to gently pull it back from the bottom so I don't pull off all my buttercream <laughs> right off the cupcake so just Pull it from the bottom and it releases not too difficult at all and you get the full impression right there it is awesome how fast that is and how easily you can do it and you can do this with so many different designs and so many different fondant molds and i'm just getting started so i love this for the season and entering the fall weather and everything so this was super fun but if you want to see it one more time, I got a little bit of a different look I'm going to try with this. I'm going to grab my diamond dust from the Sugar Art Store. And I am going to sprinkle that all into the mold. And then I'm going to kind of move it around, pat it around. And I'm going to put some yellow buttercream on these next cupcakes and pat that in and try it again and see what look I can come up with this time. So that was the gold diamond dust. So I'm gonna see if that gold really shows up. Oh, and I can see it sparkling, but let me see if I can get it for the camera so that you can see this a little better. You can see the gold sparkles in there and that kind of gives it more definition. I really like that. <laughs> These are so fun. You guys have to try this. So if you love this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and I got lots more fun ones coming up. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.